guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video we're going to talk about some of my favorite summer lip colors these will definitely be in the orange family persuasion but before we go any further let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or a hot coffee let's take a sip and let's get started now, as many of you may know, I now have an online beauty consulting service, which is where you get to talk to me virtually one-on-one, -on -one, and you get to pick my brain about any beauty topic you might have. A lot of people go over the makeup they already own and have questions about applications, and sometimes people have questions about buying new products, but the benefit of my service versus going into a store is I don't work for anyone in particular. So when you uh, book a consultation with me, you won't get that sales pressure. I will just give you my unbiased advice. So to make an appointment, click the link in the description box to book your appointment now. Okay, so it is summer, it is hot. I love an orangey red lip. So I thought I would put together a video of swatches and applications of some of my favorite lipsticks and we're going to go from ultra sheer to full matte super opaque so there's going to be a lot of variety here so for those of you who may be dipping your toes into orangey red lips you're going to get a lot of variety so to start off with we're going to go into tinted lip balms first and i have a few brands here that are some of my old favorites the first one here we're going to use is Dior, and this is the Lip Glow Color Reviving Balm, and this is the shade Coral. So this is a waxy lip balm, and it has this color reviving technology. So depending on the shade you get, you're going to enhance your lip color with whatever pigment is here. This is a coral. So here you're going to get more of, yeah, coral. Like it is orange, but it also has a bit of pink as well. As you can see, it looks more orange in the tube here than it does on my lips. And this is really lovely as a lip balm, but if you're trying to gently dip your toes into this orange corally family, this might be a product for you. And you can reapply this throughout the day. And what I'll do sometimes is if I have a more coral or orange lip color, I'll go in with a tinted lip balm throughout the day to just enhance that color as well. So I just applied the lip glow, but as you can see, my lips have changed. It's pretty instantaneous and the effect does linger. The lip glow does not have that minty tingling sensation. That is the lip maximizer. So if you have sensitivities, you're safe with this one here. Now, this is the Chanel Les Beige Lip Balm, and this is the shade Warm. So again, with this Les Beige Lip Balm, you do have multiple different colors, just like the Dior Lip Glow. But for the sake of today's video, we're going with the more orangey colors. And again, this is the shade Warm, so let's go ahead and apply it here. Okay, so the Le Beige Lip Balm in Warm is much less waxy than the Dior uh, Lip Balm that we showed before. And this color here is also more orange. It's less coral and also a little bit less flashy. It almost looks like a very light lipstick in a way. So if you want that very sheer lip color, this might be for you. And this will give you a little bit of an orangey red. So I would recommend this one a lot if you're just trying to ease into these super warm orangey lips, but the texture is really light. It feels like you have nothing on your lips. I think the Dior Lip Glow feels a little bit thicker, so it just depends um, what texture you prefer. But there's something about the whole Le Beige collection that just makes me think of like summer and the beach and vacation and just throwing this on very effortlessly with a lot of SPF and I think this is a really great color and what I will do often is if I'm going to wear a lip color for a video or for just myself I will go into one of these tinted lip balms first 
just to enhance the color even more. Okay, moving on to some Gucci Beauty. Now, this lipstick here is the Satin Formula. This is the Rouge à Lèvres Voile. So it's more of a veil satiny finish and this is 301 May Coral. So I am definitely guilty of forgetting how great this color is. When these first came out, I was obsessed with them and then, you know, things happen, new collections come out and you forget about something you really like. But this formula is really lovely. It reminds me a little bit of the Chanel Le Beige lip balm. The finish, the texture, and just the color payoff is very natural. It's not super flashy or super intense. And so it's part of that gradual build up to a more intense orangey lip color. What you could do is if you like this finish and this color here, but you want a little bit more of a longer wearing effect, I would recommend going in with the lip liner, which we will show later, but just fill in your lips completely and then put this over top just to have more of a long lasting effect because this is a satin finish. So it's not going to last you like 12 hours. Very few lipsticks will. So this is definitely one that would, I would reapply after eating and drinking, but this formula is so comfortable. It's really like a hydrating and creamy, satiny finish lipstick. It's very comfortable. You can make this super sheer and just dot it on, but I think on its own, this is probably the most intense color payoff you're going to get, but it's still a very beautiful lip color and the packaging is so stunning as well. All right, moving on, we have some Chantecaille, and this is the Lip Chic in Capucine. So moving forward, we are definitely enhancing the opacity and that more intense orangey color here. All right, so the Lip Chic here. So it has a very slight vanilla cupcake scent, which is very delightful. Now the texture is a little bit more thick. I would say it's a satin finish lipstick, but you definitely feel more of a buttery, slightly waxy finish, more so than with the Gucci lipsticks. You feel these butters and these oils, and it feels a little bit more hydrating than the Gucci lipsticks. And what's nice about the Lip Chic formula is that it does feel like sort of a waxy lip balm, similar to the Dior Lip Glow, but with much more pigment and opacity. So usually when I wear a Lip Chic, I don't reapply lip balm. I just reapply the Lip Chic. So when my lips start to feel dry, I'll just reapply more color and I'll get more color and hydration at the same time. So it's nice to have those two in ones together. And this color here is definitely more orange. You get some red, but it's definitely more towards the warm yellow orangey base. Now, as you saw when I applied, you could make this sheer as well. You could dot this on and just blend it with your finger, but I, for the sake of this video and for the sake of being extra, went over a few times just to get the more intense color payoff, which is normally how I would wear this lipstick here. All right, back to some Chanel. This here is a gloss and I featured this recently in a video and a lot of you loved it as well. This is the Rouge Coco Gloss in Bitter Orange. Now, this is a summer orangey lip color. The wet look, this intense bitter orange shade, to me is just like a quintessential summer look. Hopefully we will be able to wear these wet, slick lip glosses out in public in the near future, but just something about the combination of the texture and the color is just, ugh, what I think of when I think of a summer orangey lip color. Now, as you saw, this gloss is actually quite opaque. You could sheer this out, but it actually has a lot of color. Sometimes a gloss can be really sheer, but 
This is zero lip liner, zero lipstick, just this lip gloss here and it is so beautiful. Now with this lip gloss here, I would recommend layering a tinted lip balm like the Chanel Les Beige Warm just to enhance the lip color and also to help with the longevity because this is a gloss when you're eating and drinking, it will fade away. But if you just double up with a little bit of insurance, it just helps the color last a bit longer. Okay, now it's time for something that is near and dear to my heart. This is the Chanel Rouge Coco formula in the shade 440 Arthur. Now, this is all that is left of Arthur, so I definitely need to buy a backup of this really soon because we know how much Chanel loves to reformulate and change things up, so I will definitely get a backup of this here. This, for the longest time, has been one of my top favorite lipsticks, like across the board, and it still is because it just gives you that perfect balance of a warm red lipstick but that isn't completely orange and just look at my complexion and my teeth and the makeup and everything just looks alive and fresh and beautiful and I just think that this is such a beautiful color. So the Rouge Coco formula is a satiny lipstick but it's a classic bullet so you're not going to get a slick finish or a waxy finish it just feels like a classic bullet lipstick. This almost looks like the bullet lipstick version of Bitter Orange. Now, if you wanted to, you could use Arthur and then dot on a little bit of Bitter Orange just to make it look a bit more glossy, but also on its own, it's a beautiful lip color. With eating and drinking, it does fade away a little bit, especially in the center of the mouth, but because it is a classic lipstick, you are going to get a nice color payoff here especially when it comes to longevity. This is a beautiful color to wear. I wish I had worn my uh, jade or emerald green top. I have an off-the-shoulder top that's this beautiful jewel tone green, and something about the green and orange color combination looks beautiful. Also, orange and blue is a nice a stunning combination. I'm just giving you inspiration and ideas to wear because sometimes I base my outfit off of the lipstick. So if you wear this uh, Arthur blue, like a denim like this, or a jewel toned green, or even white, like a white crisp t-shirt in the summer is always very classic, or a white linen dress with this lipstick here, you are going to look like a million dollars. It almost hurts to take off this lipstick because it's so beautiful, but I'm glad that I can share this color with you. Let's keep going because I have a couple other lip colors and then I have a couple lip liners I wanna to mention too. Okay, so next up is something from Pat McGrath. This is actually part of her mini lipstick series, so you can actually buy this in a miniature format instead of the full size. This is the Matte Trance Lipstick in Obsessed. This color is so flashy. It is that bright red orange. It definitely is not for the faint of heart. I think if you've gotten to this point here, you have to be very sure of yourself and make sure that the lipstick is not wearing you. You know what I mean? The texture of this lipstick feels almost like a powder. The color is beautiful. I don't wear it that often because it really feels dry. Even the texture of the lipstick does feel a little bit dry on the lips. It's not my favorite formula, but if I want this super intense lip color, it definitely is where I go. I would wear lip gloss over this, like the Bitter Orange I think would be nice because if you want this intense bright lip, but you just don't want that matte finish, I would go in with a bit of gloss or you could dab on one of these more hydrating buttery lip balms or lipsticks here just to give a bit more moisture. This will be very long wearing because it is so matte. So here we have a Pat McGrath option. 
Okay, so the last lipstick here we're going to talk about is Lisa Eldridge, and this is the True Velvet Finish, and this is Velvet Morning. So this is another super bright, intense lipstick, but even though this is a matte, it feels more comfortable than the Pat McGrath. The Pat McGrath literally feels like a powder that's been transformed into a lipstick formula, whereas the Lisa Eldridge feels a little bit waxier and a bit more bomb-like. They're both super matte, so you know it's not going to be the same as wearing the Lip Chic from Chantic Eye, but if you want something more intense, the matter it is, the more intense it's going to be. Velvet Morning hits my orangey red vibrant lipstick receptors and because it's so matte it will be very long wearing. I would do the same thing as I would do with the Pat McGrath and just dab on a little bit of lip balm or gloss or something just to add a bit more moisture if you want to but I've worn this a lot a lot and I don't really have an issue with it feeling uncomfortable. I just add like yeah, some gloss or maybe a lip oil during the day to just add a bit more moisture. But I am a huge fan of the Lisa Eldridge lipsticks, especially this shade in particular. I just find it just livens up the whole complexion. And even though it's a matte formula, it's not that drying on my lips. Now, for lip liners, I have a few options here. The first one is from Dior, and this is the classic 999 lip liner. It's a classic red across the board for Dior. And this here is a classic red, but it does pull a little bit warm. It's not going to be very blue based. So this could be a good option for you. But my preferred option if I'm going to wear a lip liner with this type of color is from Chanel, and this is number 174, Rouge Tendre. The Chanel one is just a little bit more vibrant, a little bit more orangey, and the one from Dior is just a bit more red. So these are two that I would recommend to go with the products that I mentioned today, but my first pick would be the Chanel lip liner, 174, and if you're going to wear something that's a bit more glossy, satiny and you want to enhance the color fill your lip in completely and then put on that glossy satiny finish afterwards and you're going to have a lip color that lasts several hours all right guys i think this is it for today's video this is my roundup of some of my go-to favorite orangey red lip colors some of these i've had for years and i've just repurchased and they've just been my tried and true let me know what you think are you part of the orangey red lip family i know for some people they see this color and they're like oh no that's way too intense that's why i included like more lip balms glossy textures so if you're interested in joining the orangey red family maybe you can like ease yourself in very gradually let me know in the comments which lip color did i wear today that was your favorite if you're new to my channel, please take the time to subscribe and you can also hit the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I post a new video. And on that note, I think this is it for today. This is all I have. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.